Hi everyone, welcome back to this series on Agile where we're actually delving a little bit deeper. We're looking at the psychology behind Kanban and Kanban being one of the biggest parts of Agile where you've got Scrum, Kanban and Extreme Programming probably the biggest parts. Uh, but Kanban in particular focuses on minimizing work in progress. So it uses a board where task cards are placed uh, and it moves across each column. So we've got uh, usually from the backlog or to do to in progress uh, into all the way over to done or whatever columns you choose for your backlog uh, for your for your Kanban board. So in this way we can see what's uh, what's currently in progress and we can make sure that you know people have work to do but also it's very visual so you know we see exactly what is uh, what's being worked on and how soon it might be completed as well. It's actually a really cool thing. So the psychology behind Kanban is actually really really cool and it basically it brings a team uh, you know, more happiness and fulfillment through these particular things that we've found in the research behind Kanban. So it gives the team a feeling of progress as well. And with progress, it's really important, it's a really big part of your team's happiness. Teresa Amabile and J Stephen J. Kramer found in their study of more than 12,000 employee journal entries over a prolonged period of time that it wasn't money, it wasn't perks or recognition or time off that contributed to their happiness. And this makes so much sense when you think about this. Uh, it's you know, apart from having meaning in their work, but the meaning comes from a sense of progress. So when you're making progress, you're actually far, far, far happier. And it's a, a specifically a sense of progress in meaningful work. So work that was meaningful to them, that they understood and that they had a clear vision of the outcome as well. So people were also 50% more, more likely to report or to find creative solutions on the days that they reported their most positive moods. Uh, and that came from making progress in their work. So when you've got progress, uh, and again with our Kanban board, you can clearly see that progress. You've got small, uh, small pieces of work and you can see when they're moving across the board uh, and because they're small chunks of work, it's much easier to make progress and move them across the board as well. So that's the first part. But also Dr. Jason Fox found a very similar thing um, in his idea of the book, The Game Changer. So with that, uh, he did a lot of research and came up with basically what amounts to this, to make progress visible for everyone to see. And in doing that, that actually helps, in a way it gamifies the, the work. So you can, now you can see that progress. People are wanting to make progress and so they keep uh, continuing to do the work and it makes them more likely to do it as well. But it also makes people happier and this, he says, is the Kanban board of the team. Uh, so it's that visible work moving across the Kanban board. It's that progress, but it's also very, very visible. Uh, now Kanban also gives clarity on the work and what's expected because we can see those task cards, we can see where they're up to uh, and that gives everyone clarity on where we're up to. So Mihai Csikszentmihalyi um, on his flow state, so the flow state of happiness, a state of ease and happiness uh, and there are three things that, that, uh, that occur when people are in this flow state of happiness. But the first main one is when the person knew what to do every step of the way. And this might sound silly, you know, why am I happy when I know what to do every step of the way? But you know what to do every step of the way, you get immediate feedback on, on the work, and, and also the, the work is more or less in balance with, the, you know, with your skills. So the challenge is quite a good challenge for you. It's like playing a video game, and it's why video games are so popular, because you know, you know the rules of the game, and you know the outcome, and you, can, you get feedback, you know, you're losing health points or whatever that is, uh, or you're, you're going closer to your goal or further away to your goal. And the skills uh, adjust, so you have higher levels or lower levels depending on your skill level. This is really, really important. And it's the same here because now we're looking at, at work and we know exactly what to do every step of the way because we can see it on our Kanban board. Now we have that clarity and it's more likely to put us into that state of happiness and flow. Now of course, we've, we've been through these two things before, but Google found the same thing in their project Aristotle where they studied 180 project and engineering teams. So teams teams of people and they found the highest performing teams um, had a real clarity on expectations and the process for fulfilling them, so what they had to do to fulfill those expectations uh, and their goals were specific and attainable. So again with Kanban you've got small uh, chunks of work that you're moving across the board, uh, definitely makes it much more 
attainable for people to do um, within that two week sprint, for example, uh, which is a, your scrum methodology, uh, but in, in, inside a time boxed period of work. And you know, that's part of Kanban. And the last one, of course, from Gallup, we've got engaged teammates. So people were more engaged in their work uh, when they had a clarity, when they were clar clear on what was expected of them. So companies where, empl where employees were clear on what was expected saw a 34% jump in engaged employees. So engaged employees are the ones who go above and beyond. They go the extra mile because they are actually engaged in the work that they're doing on a regular basis. Now that has a real, uh, real outcome on the, on the output of your work as well. So now you're increasing your output because people are more engaged in that particular work. So Kanban gives teams clarity on the work. It makes that progress visible and it increases team engagement and productivity because of all of those things as well. You can do it in your own teams. It's not too hard to set up and it doesn't have to be technical or it doesn't have to be fancy. It really can just be a board on a wall showing your team's progress and making that progress visible. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.